Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I, I say, hey, nobody is going to connect. What happened? Only because it's Friday. <laughs> yes, only, only me. <laughs> only you, yeah. I don't know what happened, right? Everybody yeah. say, I know. I want to relax on Fridays. <laughs> the idea of relaxing English class. All partners, they say, it's Friday and the body he say. <laughs> <laughs> and the body he say. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, but uh, I, but me, I, 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 I on time in the class. Exactly, exactly. That's what I like. That's what I like. And tell me, Jaime, what did you do today? Today I'm going to work my job. Um, I I am very busy. I I I I say in in in, in other class very busy, but it, the 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 word is busy. <laughs> correct. That's correct. It's good you improve the pronunciation. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. And mm. you were doing what? What did you do today? Did you have a lot of reports? Send emails, visit clients. What did you do today? Um, I am, uh, I am an, an analyze. Yes, analyze. Mm -hmm. yes, um, uh, documents. Um, uh, in, in the computer, write, writing documents or send emails for the the. Uh, the partners uh, or my uh, jefe sería what the meaning jefe jefe bosses bosses yes my boss yes mm -hmm. um and other activities okay okay good yeah. yeah it's you know it's the when you know your job is the routine really the day is the routine that different different work but the same ideas right Yes, the regular. Uh, actually, the the my worry is it's a routine. Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. For uh, yesterday, we are going to visit uh, uh, any any person for for say for uh, uh, send document. <laughs> <laughs> No problem, no problem. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the weather is very rain, raining. Ah, yes. In El Salvador, a lot of places closed. The schools canceled. Mm -hmm. Many places didn't go. Well, my children, for example, they didn't go to school. They stayed home. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's dangerous. Uh, uh, only uh, we are the the people drive, driving the cars mm -hmm. yes. uh, many traffic a lot of traffic I love I love the traffic and, and all all street mm -hmm. hey, do you do you have a no not you Jaime but uh, let's see we we also have the other Jaime we have others do you have a, a family a children a wife that today no classes me teacher. Yes, well, go ahead. We can start. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I I live only only my mom teacher. I am only the house. Dog. Yes, I I ha, I have I I don't have a, a children. Or, or 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 say I haven't. Yes. No, no, I no. Haven't. It's correct. It's correct. I don't, I have. don't have. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have children. Only only me. More money, brother. My More mom. money. Believe me, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's expensive. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? The, the rest of you, do you have children? Uh, Reyes, do you have any children? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I I have a three daughters. Three? Three. 
Wow, <laughs> my man. This <laughs> is very expensive. <laughs> It's very expensive. Yeah. yeah. I we are we are fine in my family. My wife, three daughters. No boys. No boys. Huh? Okay. I mean, you have to work hard. Uh huh. Between woman. Yeah. No three because three weddings. Huh? Three yeah. weddings. Woof. Four woman. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine in the house when one woman angry, all of them angry. Yeah. <laughs> all right. In the futures, um, only yerno, como dice? <laughs> only? Yerno, como se dice? Uh, in laws. Uh, son, son in laws. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maria, do you have any children? Yes. Yes. How many children do you have, Maria? One children. One child. One child. A boy or a girl, Maria? Boy. A boy. Tell us a little bit about your son. What? Tell us about your son. His no name idea. is. He he is uh, ten years old. He. Tell us about your son. No, no, not Spanish. I don't un I don't understand. What happened? What happened? He understand. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. No, 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 Spanish. Uh -huh. Teacher. So, yes. I no, translate no, no, yes. Spanish. Okay. I translate okay. in Spanish for Mari. No, 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 no. I explain. I explain. Mari, <laughs> the expression tell about or tell me how this describe, describe your mother, describe your father, describe your son. Okay. So, so for example, uh, tell me about your son. My son is Andres. He is 10 years old and goes to Alberto Masferrer. He is in, tell me about your son, Maria. Okay. Um, my son, his name is Agnes. He has a uh, twelve years old. He study in high school, Masquerel. Really? Uh, he is, yes. Really? I, only I, I only. <laughs> what What is his name? Adonis. Antonio. 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 No. Adonis. Aton Atonis, okay. Atonis, yes. Okay. Uh, and, uh, he's very handsome. Uh, <laughs> I, I love him so much. Uh, he's, he's very friendly. Uh, and and he has a dog. Uh, <laughs> that's good, that's good, Maria. Remember, in English, no, he has 17 years old. He is. He is. It's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, Maria. And uh, does he study uh, the technical high school or the general high school? No, in the último grado. Yes, but in general or in technical? Gender, no, no, septimo grado is... Ah, septimo. Uh -huh. Ah, then septimo, no, it's high school. No. School. It is, the name is middle school. Me, uh, in the middle, in the middle. The last is the high school. Okay. Okay. Middle school. Great. Excellent. All right. Now... Now that we're talking a little bit and we have people in the chat, you see 10 questions. Who's Familia? I only see the name Familia. Who's Familia? Ah, Esmeralda. Esmeralda? No. Who's Familia? I changed the name. Uh huh. It's Noe. Noe, it's you. Hello, teacher. Hello, Noe. Uh, you, can you hear me? 
Yes, yes, I can hear you, Noe. Noe, can, okay. you, can you please read the questions in the chat? We have many questions in the chat. Can you please read? Excuse mm -hmm. me, one, one moment, one mm -hmm. moment, teacher. Leyendo el periódico estábamos, mm -hmm. No, lo que pasa es que I, I, I have, uh, uh, um, I received the class English in my cell phone. Oh. When I, I have, uh, I, I received in the computer. <laughs> uh-huh yeah in the cell phone uh -huh. it's difficult it's small yes yes, yes. okay uh-huh okay. okay can can you see the questions in the chat if not if not maria or jaime can read no, no worry it's no problem it's no problem it's okay no no problem. Maria, can you please read the questions in the chat? Okay. What will you when you get retired? Mm -hmm. uh, what will you do if you win the lottery? What will you do if you break up with your friends? What will you do if, if you get divorced? What, uh, if, if you want to relax after class, what will you watch? If you have some free time since Saturday, will you study more? What medicine will you take if you catch a call next week? What will you do if you pass the toys exam? What will you do if you get your dream job? What will you do if you mother boy you car, you are a car, you car? Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. Very nice. Only number one, I don't know why I put maybe my, I, I wrote too fast. Number one is what would you do when, what would you do when, no, what will you when? I, I forgot the word do. Okay. For question number one is the activity. What will you do when you get retired? Okay. So what are we going to do with our partners? We are going to answer these questions, not all the questions. You are going to select three questions to ask your partner, and your partner is going to select three questions to ask you. And you're going to give details. As an example, Maria, any questions? One, two, three, four, ten. Any question, ask me, and then I will give the example. Okay. Go ahead, Maria. Ask me the question. Any question? Oh, okay. <laughs> what would you do when get do when <laughs> what would you do when do get retired? Right? I Maria, excellent question. When I retire, I will go to live in San Ignacio or La Palma. I like this area or I like El Pital. I think it's very nice. Maybe if I have more money, I will live in a taco because I want to live in the place that is cold with beautiful weather. I don't want to live in the beach. And if I have the possibility, I will travel with my wife to other countries. You see? I give the answer with details. I give the answer with details. No, what would you do when you get married? I don't know. No, it's not correct. What will you do when you get married? I will sleep. No, not correct. No, the correct is answer with details. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jose, Enoe, I, do you see the questions or you don't see the questions in the chat? Um, I, I don't see the question, teacher. Okay. Uh, no problem. I put again. It's no problem. I put again. I want to make sure that you can see the questions. Let me copy and paste and then and there. Uh, Jose Arturo, no, do you see the question now, Jess? Do you see the questions? Yeah, yeah. I, yes. I, I see the questions. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have a few moments with our partner. We're going to practice speaking. Remember, 
these questions are first conditional. So your answer, don't worry, but your answer is with the future. I will, I'm going to, I might, I may. Remember, this is the grammar for the first conditional. Your answer with the opinions. Oh, great. Okay. We are ready? Yeah, yes, yeah. I, I, I can't. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's practice with our partners and then we begin unit five. Right now we practice speaking and then we begin unit five.
Okay. We're back and we're ready to begin unit five. Before we begin unit five, any questions for unit four? Um, Conditionals? Yeah, teacher. I I only have two questions that I can't give answer. Okay. But I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what is. Let me let me search. It's in the chat. If you want, you can check the chat. No, no it's in the ah. platforms. Ah, okay, okay. Platform. I will take a screenshot. Share your screen, Jose. It's okay. You can share your screen. All right. Um. It's um, in or tell me where it is and I can look for it and I can share the screen with the class. That way we can all oh, right. Mm -hmm. What section is it? Mm -hmm. um, give me a second. Um, it's okay. You? you look for it and then you tell me later that will, and we continue. Okay. No problem. No problem, Jose. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, today we're going to be looking at unit five. We're going to start unit five. And um, here we have our objective. And Jaime Reyes, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. In this class, you were listening to a conversation about jobs and job requirements, where gerunds and short responses will be used. Okay, so we're going to listen to job requirements. requirements. Job requirements. Good, that's it. What do we need for the job? Let's listen to this conversation. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Ah, so a lot of things. What job does he look for? What job is he applying for? One more time. The Why? conversation. Do you this time you will listen to job? Do you want to listen one more time? 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's listen one more time. That remember. Please, teacher. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to listen for what is the job? Number one, what is, what is the job? Number two, what are the requirements? What is necessary to get the job? These are the two ideas, the job and the requirements. Okay. And job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call. A okay. Let's make sure that we understood correctly. What is the job? What are the two jobs that they're looking for? What did you what did you understand were the jobs? Person. Paper. Salesman. Uh-huh. So we have the salesman, right? Salesman. Yeah. And then the cruise. The cruise what? Marketing entertainment. Correct, Maria. The cruise entertainer director, right? Now let's listen. What are the requirements for the job? What is necessary to get the job? About the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay. What was the what was the other thing that they needed? He's speaking of the uh, language. Speak another language, exactly, exactly. Other language. And now that is the idea for what are the requirements. Here, we're going to check and see if we can make the answers. This is, I think this is the question that we had um, from uh, Jose, uh, using gerunds and short answers. So let's learn a little bit about the gerunds and short answers so that we are able to complete the knowledge check. Remember, gerunds are verbs with ing, verbs with ing. This is how we begin the gerunds. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. So, as you can see, how do we have the gerunds? You give your opinion. I like, I love, I enjoy, I'm good at, I, I don't hate. mind. 
I hate, and then ing. Traveling, working, studying, making, selling, buying. And that's how you make the statement. The short response is if you agree or disagree, so or neither. Depend the auxiliary for the original sentence. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, hate. good at, yeah. as well as don't mind, not good at, can stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject, and when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. All of those words that are in the chat right now or in the video right now, are words that in the next one you have to use ing so if you use the word for example forget advise miss postpone those words you use with ing i avoid dancing i admit uh cooking i deny kissing all of those words we're going to use with ing those are the gerunds now we're going to practice a little bit to make before we do the knowledge check. The idea is complete here, but how are we going to practice is remember, if you are positive, if the sentence is positive, then you use so. If the sentence is negative, then you use neither. Neither is that you don't agree. Uh, sorry, neither is that you agree, but for the negative, and so is that you agree for the positive. Um, teacher, and in the case, uh, when when we have to use either, e not either. Either is not to agree. Either is I don't care. So I agree. Neither I agree for no. And then either is i don't care all right this is the difference so for example if you say i like pupusas and jose you agree you say so do i so do i 
if I say okay. I don't like I don't like sushi and you agree, you say neither do I. Neither, neither, neither do I. If I say, Jose, what do you want? Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Either. I don't care. Either is for Either. The, the two are okay, not one or the other. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. So in this moment, we're going to try with our partner only to help us a little bit to get a better idea. I give you a link where we're going, to, it's in the chat, where we're going to practice a little bit about so and neither to make sure that it's clear for you. And here we have, let me give you, it's going to be two of them, two. I wanna make sure that we have number one and number two. So we're gonna practice number one and number two with our partners is so and neither. This was the original, but is very, is correct. It's in and the other ones. But right now we're going to practice so and neither. No. So link one and link two with your partner. It's okay, you have the links? Yeah. Okay. Yes? Yes, okay. I get it. Okay, perfect again. All right, let's make one more time. We're going to make small groups with our groups. We're going to practice and try to do it. Not a long time, only a few minutes, but enough for us to practice.
Okay. Is that okay? The practice help you or confuse or it's okay? Um, the practice help us. Okay. So now you understand a little bit better the idea for so and neither. In this moment, now you have to write no select. Now in the platform, 5.4, the first knowledge check with your partner, you are going to complete. As an example here, we have the, ex the first example. Jose Arturo, can you please read the instructions and the example? Oh, great. Um, read the following phrase. Rearrange and use what is in the brackets in order to make statements. Follow the example, I enjoy with time spent free, my, and enjoy spending, I enjoy spending time with my friends. There you go. So you need two things. You need to use the original and use the words in the parentheses to complete into a new correct sentence. With your partner, you have eight sentences that you are going to practice. So with your partner, eight sentences, remember 5.4 in the platform. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's do it.
Maria, are you okay? Maria, you okay?
Okay, let's try it together. Jose Arturo, number one. Jaime Reyes, oh. number two. Jaime Hernandez, number three. Noen, number four. Hey, what happened with only the four of you? Um, I can give answer to number two and number three. And number one is, I don't, I don't like commuting. Mm -hmm. I don't like commuting by bus. Okay, I don't like commuting by bus. Okay, yes. what about number two? What's number two? Um, I I write. Um, I'm not very good at learning foreign language. Okay, hang on. Very good. Very good at learning. Learning. Learning, right? learning foreign language. Okay. I think here the important is to make sure that what did I put is here. I don't know if is in here it's incorrect, but I don't know. We'll figure out in just a moment. It's languages also, no language. 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 Oh, All right. right. Okay, Jaime, yeah. what about number three? Three teacher, I'm good at solving solving other people's problem. Okay, so I'm good at solving other people's problems. Other, All right, yes. don't worry, don't worry, we got it. Good. Okay, number four, Jaime Reyes. Okay, maybe let's try Noe. What do you think? I think we lost the class, huh? There we go. There we go, Jaime. Go ahead. I hate. Uh huh. I hate work working. Mm hmm. With group, group or a team or a team. Okay, I hate working with a group or a team. Okay, I hate working with a group or a team. All right, no problem. Number five, Noe, what do you think? I can stand. Mm -hmm. Um, sit, sit, sitting long in a meeting. Okay. Don't worry. We got all of them together. We work. All right. Uh, Jose, what about number six? What do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in um, managing um, better my time. All right. Jaime <laughs> Hernandez, what do you think is number seven? Okay, teacher. Or, no, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, sorry. I, I don't mind. I don't mind uh, talking cell phone, talk, talking on cell phone. Okay. And the last one, who has the last one? I am, I enjoy eating, eating out every day. Eating, um, oh, eating, eating lunch out. 
eating lunch out. Lunch out. Okay. All right. Well, pretty good. Most of them are correct, but we need to just check a couple of them. Here we have, okay. So for example here, I don't like commuting by bus. It's correct, you see? I don't like commuting by bus. That is the correct one, number one. Excellent. Number two. How are you smart? Uh, I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. A. Uh, uh, okay, good. I, Number three. I'm good at solving other people's problems. Excellent. Yeah. Number four. I hate working with a group or team. We have correct. Don't know why here. With a group or team. Mm -hmm. Oh, in some cases, I think I forgot in my case, maybe the period. Remember always to have the period, but all of those are correct. I'm good at solving other people's <laughs> problems. Good. Number five, I can stand sitting in a long meeting. No sitting long, but sitting in a long meeting. So number five, I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Number six, I'm interested in managing my time better. Nice. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. Great. And the last one, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Okay. We are going to pause right there with our gerund and infinitives. But next week, four days, we finish unit five and we do the exam. And we are ready, yes? Okay, teacher, Thank you. I, I, I end I ending the, the work on the platform. Excellent, that's great, I, no problem. I get, I get the certificate, but mm -hmm. in, in this case, I, I have problem with these two questions. No problem, two it's, good. it's excellent. If you want to finish the platform, you finish the platform, no problem. Okay. Um, Right. You say that I have um one hundred percent, but in this in this in this section have these two sentences, uh, like that. But now you have correct. Yeah, yeah, the right is correct. Okay, great. All right, guys, have a great night. I'll see you next week. Okay. Oh. See you. Have a great Bye. Good night. Good night.